Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. So, this is the last tutorial for the next about 14 days because tomorrow morning I am on my way on vacation and uh, yeah, uh, I did not plan such a tutorial what we do now but uh, I got a nice, really kind donation and the question was about this here. And from from uh, Louie, uh, sorry, I cannot, I do not know how to pronounce it, but Louie or something, like that. and he did this here. We do not this because uh, if you want to see this here, uh, please write it in the comments. Or so I will do it uh, after my uh, vacation. But the question was exactly about uh, this here, this pressing shape this here. How to do this, how to press something like this in shape. And uh, yeah, as I said, thanks for, the, for this really kind donation. And uh, uh, But it was not just about the donation. It, it, I got a lot of questions about this. And now I thought, okay, I, I'm ready for my vacation. I have all my luggage packed and then so let's do this here. And so, uh, yeah, I did not try it. And so first, I, was, I will render this with Octane because the subsurface scattering and everything, uh, this would need really long time in uh, physical render. It's possible, of course. And uh, if you want to know how to make subsurface scattering in uh, physical render, I've made some tutorials already. So please browse through my channel and uh, you will find it. And uh, the original artist here, the Louie, <laughs> he uh, rendered it as well in Octane. You see, it was rendered with Octane. Second thing is, you need R20 for this, for this way I do it, because I want to do it with, uh, with volumes. This is, uh, this is a perfect example for volumes. Uh, I think it would work with maybe Metapol too, so you can use earlier versions. Uh, maybe I do something like this if if people ask. Uh, I do this with uh, Metapols too after my uh, uh, vacation. And I also think you can do this, I'm quite sure you can do this if you have X particles, you can do this with the XP Skinner too. So uh, there are many ways for this, but we will do it in volume. So you need R20 and Octane Render. Uh, for the render, it, the technique how to do this is the same for every render. So, so uh, the volume part and everything is the same. So if you don't want to use Octane or you don't have Octane, the modeling, uh, modeling, this is not really a modeling, but uh, this will be the same. So, okay. Uh, yeah, let's start. Uh, so we, we have to press out this and then uh, we have to see that this this triangle slides away here. This is a nice part here. Okay, we will try this. I start with a simple whoop cylinder. Okay, let's make this 100 high. Should be fine. And immediately it goes into a volume builder. I have here my tutorial layout, so I have to go to volume and I bring the volumes here out. We need it uh, sometimes, so uh, and I select my cylinder, Alt on the keyboard and volume builder. So it becomes a child of the volume builder and we can hit a, let's say one centimeter, uh, so it should be fine, okay. And we put this in a smooth layer, so we go to here, smooth layer, yeah, and it looks quite nice so far. That seems okay. Yeah, if you want this, if you see these things, if you want it smoother, you can make the voxel size smaller or simply go to here and make the rotation segments higher. Let's say we're gonna go to 200 or something. Like See, it's already almost smoothed out. So, but for our tutorial, this should do it. So, the next step is we have to uh, press out this form. So, I need such a form. And for this, I will use the 
the tube here and the tube I will use with three segments and you see now of course we have now a triangle here whoop, 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 whoop. so this is the triangle we need here so when I go with the inner radius to 40 bars uh, should be fine let's disable this for the moment here you see it nicely now this is our triangle this will be our form later okay looks nice so let's make the outer radius a little smaller so something like that and now when I put the tube inside the volume builder I get this but in the volume builder first I bring the tube under the smooth layer and say subtract and now of course I have this nice thing and when I come with my tube this is all 100 centimeter high so when I go here to 50 and the y I have here this triangle and this is exactly what I want good so far now how do we bring this triangle uh, how can we slip this to the side of course it does not work when I go to the tube and say drag it and so this won't really work so <laughs> what we need we need this cylinder this cylinder here and this triangle to be two different objects so let's do this I disable this for the moment I have here by this a pool more than less this is nothing else than a pool here so, so I copied these two guys control drag it out I have it here and hide the volume builder for the moment Go to my cylinder and put the cylinder in a pool. So I select my cylinder, go to the pool, hold my Alt key and click on the pool. Drag the tube under it, whoop, and we have our triangle and our uh, and our cylinder. Okay, in the pool I have a subtract b. You see, high quality is on, create single object is on, and hide new edges is on. Good. So now I want to split these two things. For this, I make the pool editable. I have for this my current uh, my edit optimized script. You can current current state the object and uh, combine everything and or you the a simple way is uh, put the pool in a connect object and the connect object just hit C and you are done. I have used an edit script, edit optimized script, you will find it on my website and uh, the link to my website you will find in the description. And so, edit optimize, okay, and I have one pool here. This is exactly what I want. Now I want to split the triangle from this, so this is no problem. Select these polygons here. Oop. So, and UP is split. I have a nice plugin here that is called uh, perfect split you see it here what this does is it splits the uh, the, say the the polygons the select the polygons and in the same moment it deletes it from the original uh, object uh, but if you don't want to work with the plugin or you don't have it uh, however you can simply with up split it uh, up you see up is split here you split it, then you get a new object. This is the triangle now. And this is our cylinder. But you see, when we hide our triangle, you see still on our cylinder that the uh, polygons are still here. And this perfect split would have uh, deleted this. So we delete just these polygons and we have this. Good. Next step, because we work with volume builder, it does not really matter how this looks, how we uh, then we have polygons here and such, it does not really matter. I only have to close this hole here, so I go to here. And with MQ, this is melt, I hit MQ, and you see here in the middle, it will melt these three points together. So I click somewhere in the viewport, and done. This is closed. So I hide this one. Bring this one, you see, you have here uh, open 
polygon. We can close this with MD. MD is close polygon hole. Okay, and here on top, uh, this would work, uh, but I have an idea what we could do. Maybe we, we make this a little funnier than the original one. And for this, I need at the end uh, to, to subdivide our triangle here. So uh, for this, I want to have the same thing like here so that everything is nice and clear. So I delete this point. Oops. Back. Just delete this one point here and delete the points here on the edge. So these are unused points. We don't need them. Okay, delete. And here with MD, again, I close the polygon hole. I have a nice polygon here, so I optimize this. Good. So far, so good. Now we have oh, we have these two objects separated. And when I put this object now in a volume builder, the same volume builder like this one, so I just copy this volume builder here, delete these two guys here, and bring these two guys in. So uh, this would be the same volume like this. So let's go to the volume builder here, but and be clever. The smooth layer has to be on the top here. So that means let's bring this. You have this volume, and now hide this one and bring this back. This is exactly the same volume. But now, why did we do this? In this volume now, I can drag out my triangle. <laughs> and that's great. <laughs> this is exactly what we want. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that works much better than I thought it will. As I said, I did not test it. I just, I that did not plan anything or something, but uh, okay. Nice. What we have to do now is to animate the tube coming down here and uh, press the shape. We have to see this volume and we hide this volume. And as soon this shape is pressed, then I hide this volume and make this visible. This one where I can move the triangle. So let's say we want 25 frames to, to, to bring this down. So let's go to uh, hide this first. Go to our tube and we are here on coordinates on 50 we go to 100 so it, we have no inf no influence nothing so okay on frame 0 I make a keyframe here then I go to frame 25 go here to 50 and make another keyframe so this is our first animation so it makes tuk 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 and this presses this thing in shape Nice. So let's give this everything in a, a volume measure. So because of the volume builder, you cannot render it. You have to use the volume measure. So I select my builder, alt click on the measure. Whoop. Okay. And the thing I do here, alt click on the measure. Good so far. So I don't want to make this, I make invisible the measure. Okay. This is nice so far. Now, when I, what I said, I want to make this from from frame 0 to 25, this visible and this invisible. Okay, so go to basics, frame 0, yes, and this make it visible. Default would be okay, but I do it on on and make a keyframe. Here on the second measure, I am on off, this is okay, make a keyframe as well. Now I go to 25. And now I want to make the opposite. So I want to make the second one visible. So I'll go on, 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 save the keyframe. And on this, on the first one, I go to off, off, so, and save it. So we shouldn't see any uh, changes here when, when we are in 25. So let's see if this is true. It goes down. It's a little slow because I'm not on my main PC. This is a little weaker machine here, so, but it should be okay. So, and you see, we have no difference. 
between these two. Perfect. The next step is to drag out the triangle. So now imagine we have a metal thing what presses out this thing on 25. We are here. And uh, let's let's make let, let's let's make the, this, this metal part here this this one here so okay <coughs> for this I simply I'll make this with a volume builder too go to here I see my triangle nicely here and I bring in an uh, N side T for scale let's kill it down hello N side. And I want just three sides, of course, for the triangle. Nice. Make it a little smaller, so something like this, maybe. And make a little rounding, so maybe five. Looks good, okay. Should be fine. Go to move it a little up so I see it here okay okay it looks good I put this in a volume builder Whoop. I could work here with this sweep nerves too but I want to, to put all together and so that it looks like it's uh, it's melt together something else so, so, so volume builder of course I need small box size here so. And here in the inside, you see this is the radius of the CS here. Let's go to 1.5 or something like that. Looks good. And to uh, cover the whole sphere, we go up with the density to about two should be more than enough. Yep. And we have, uh, let's bring this in a volume measure. And you see we have a nice thing here. Can go a little down here, see? So, something like that. Okay. Then I make a, a circle around this. Circle, T for scale. Scale the circle down and bring it out. I have to go to outside, so something like this. I want it on the same height like this inside here. So I can go to coordinates and Take this, copy this, and give it to the circle. This this seems not to work. Back. But what I do normally is I take the circle, bring it under the under the object where I want to, to center it, and here I say uh, reset PSR, you see? and then it's exactly on the same height. So, and we can let it under it, so this, that, that works, you see. Maybe let make it a circle a little bigger. Looks interesting, okay. And now we need only uh, two uh, straight things up. This we can make with two simple helixes. Helixes, helixes. Zero, zero, we have a straight line. Let's go up to so a little higher, 200, and, and we don't need, let's see, 10. Normally we don't need any subject, but okay, that looks fine. Bring this helix in the middle of this circle here. Then I hold my control key and make a track it with the control key, hold it. The other side, so I make a copy of this helix. The other side, so I have two helixes. Nice. And I can drag them under the side, side here. So. so I make this, take these two guys here and bring them a little in higher here. So. And we have our, but you see, we have a problem here. 
connected is not connected so what can we do we make everything a single spline here go out with this go out with this too and bring it inside here but the only downside here is we have to go through everything so we have here radius 1.5 and density 2 but we cannot select more here so we have to make this 1.5 density 2 is okay 1.5 here and 1.5 here so now you see, you see we have no problem anymore and this one we could we simply could uh, make it here the mesh a little 0.3 maybe I want this a little imperfection this is but the circle my circle is it the in the my default is here uniform the normal default is adaptive and this looks much better here see and what I do is I make this one mesh I make editable so this is go to my mesh and say current state to object can delete this and say this is the metal part so and don't forget to save sometimes let's just save it let's see press in shape or something else okay now we have this this looks nice here everything so what i will now is i want to go with the uh, with this tube i want to this is our uh, our pressing so so this is our pool here <coughs> sorry and when this tube moves i want that this metal moves with it so so i have to just to make this this uh, animation this keyframing just once so i go to my metal here character tag constraint and the constraint i set to parent so it, this is like the metal part would be under the tube here so that the tube is parent to the metal here in the parent tab i have to go I have a target and the target is this tube and that's it so if i see now if i go to frame zero the tube goes up to here and the metal part should go with it so go to frame zero so i go back here and you see the metal part is on top of it it's exactly what we want but it maybe looks a little better when it's not so close to here so go with the tube here and on the on frame zero I'm 100 let's go to let's say 110 that looks a little better i think that it's not so close to it so that means when i say play when I play now this whole thing, it does exactly what we want. I hit NA to hide the mesh here. See? It does exactly what it should do. Nice! Works great so far. So now, when we are on frame 25 here I want that uh, so we don't see on uh, 25 don't forget on 25 this measure will be invisible and this becomes visible uh, but I want that uh, on 25 that the uh, metal part goes back up so the tube has to go back up, but we don't see the tube, and this is exactly what we want. We want just to see the metal part going up. So here, in the tube, I go here to animation, show track. So okay, this is the Y position. So here, the tube goes down, and I want to go back, let's say, until frame... 40 it should go uh, should go up again 
So I copy this keyframe, I hold the control key and drag. So first I select this keyframe. Hold control and then I drag it to frame 40. And here in the key values, I say go back to 110. Okay, that should be it. So that goes down, the shape is ready and the metal part goes up again. But what I want is, I want everywhere, we have now a linear keyframe, but I want in this, normally I work all, all, all times with linear keyframes, but I want here now uh, ease ease keyframe. So uh, first what I do is, I go to my project settings, means Control D, the interpolation and go from linear to spline. Can I overdub this now? So and now I make this ease ease so I select all these points and just click on this ease ease thing you see ease ease. Now I have a nice curve. And because I made it now in my project settings a spline, the next uh, spline should be ease ease. So okay, let's see if this works. Goes up. And then only the metal part should go up, and because then the other part is invisible. Perfect. And now the triangle should go out. Good. So on frame 40 we are here. So let's say on frame 50 the triangle starts to move. Good. Let's go to the triangle. So on the X and say here on frame 50 we make a keyframe on the X and on frame uh, let's go to let's say frame 75 one second whoop this is a little fast, I think. I, I tried. Let's go to 80 here, frame 80. And now I drag this out. Let's say to 150. Okay, that should do it. So, this is an animation. You know what? We will make uh, something like a floor now. Let's bring in a tube. And the tube is 100 high normally. Let's see, yeah. So I go here to minus 50. So I'm exactly on the same thing. And this should sit exactly on it. Perfect. I want here a little fillet. Let's say the 5 and the 3. So. And the outer radius to about 5000. It doesn't matter. Anymore to see it so something like that looks fine so far let's bring in some SSEO let's see how this looks okay nice by the way if you don't like the SSEO like it is you can change this you just go to control V to your uh, viewport settings and here are the enhanced OpenGL you have here SSEO and you have a small triangle here and here you can change everything how you want. Let's see, just 10 or something else. Yeah, it looks better with 10. Okay, and so on. Give it more samples maybe, so. Okay, now let's see how this looks. And for uh, the first thing I wanna see if I have now really some Easy, yeah, you see now it's easy, easy on the new ones. That's exactly what I want. So let's try this. It goes down. On 25, the first volume measure hides, the second becomes visible. And this goes away. This is perfect. This is it. This would be exactly 
This would be exactly what we see here. Yeah. Press it down and go away. Exactly the same. But I want to do something more. The first thing I want, what I we, I have seen this and I thought when this slips away, so when, when this slips away, it should chill. <laughs> okay, so, and this was the reason I said before, let's go to 25 or something else. And this was the reason I said before I need here more, let's tighten. I need for, need for the triangle and need more uh, segments because for the jiggle. When I don't have any segments, it cannot really jiggle. So we can try it. So, so let's let's see what what it does. Go to my triangle here, and under the triangle, I put a jiggle deformer. So I select the triangle, do a shift click, I go to the jiggle deformer. Let's see what this does. Let's make this to. Uh, only we have an 80 let's go only to 120 or something else so that we see it faster was this 120 120 okay and let's see if the jiggle deformer does something here so I disabled here the volume measure for the moment too and the volume builder so we have just a, a quicker animation check and you see, do do it does something, but it does not really change the uh, any change the, the shape here. So when I go to here, let's see, make this. It jiggles, but not like I want. The whole thing jiggles. Maybe it works when we. Yeah, it would maybe work with with. Uh, let's try it. Uh, it could work with this uh, a linear fall off. Go back here to twenty five. Um, with the jiggle deformers, it you should start from before. Or you, you know what? I disable the jiggle deformer. Go to twenty five, and now and every they can. And then the jiggle deformer, you have a fall off. And here we could try a linear fall off in the y axis. Let's see, plus y. Make it smaller so that it's like the height of the, the triangle. So maybe something like that. Okay, let's see what that does. Oh, now I have to. Yeah, okay, go back. Sick. Oh, that, that works quite good. <laughs> oh, yes, it's, it's, it's exactly what I thought it would do. Oh, yeah, 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 I love it. But get to here to make it stiff, this maybe a little. Zuck. Yeah. So I think it's. That's okay. But I, I want it more natural. I want more segments so that it looks for sure nicer. So I go to 25. Let's Go to my triangle here. And I want to subdivide it. You can subdivide in the polygon mode, right click and subdivide. But you see one subdivision, second subdivision. You see, it looks not bad, so, but, but here in the triangle. So, and I want quotes here. And this is quite easy to do. I bring out the jiggle deformer for a moment. I go to my triangle and put the triangle in a subdivision surface. Here. So select my triangle, alt click on subdivision surface, 
because I get this. But here we have different types. And so I go to my and say open subdiv by linear. This is this and with NB I can see. Now you see this is a much nicer subdivision when I go here to three. We have just quotes here. This is exactly what I want. Good. So I am quite happy with this. And I make this an object. So it's a current state to object. Let's see. This should be everything. Ah, okay, I go to this. current state to, ob to object. I have it here, otherwise you right click and current state to object. And now I can delete this one. This is now my triangle, but don't forget now we have to do some things. In the volume builder we have a new object because this is converted. So let's bring the triangle down again to here. And we have to make this animation again, so, so this movement. This was from 50 to 80, from 0 to 120. So, okay, I see the triangle is not now not on the. It's on the, it's not on the zero now. It should be zero, but it's this is not really a problem. Uh, if you have something like this, if you're not on zero, so you can go to freeze transformation. When I say freeze transformation, it takes this values here and puts it in here, and here I have again all at zero and can work again with zero. So freeze, you see now it's everything on zero here and here I have the original things. Now I can see again, the x-axis here on frame 50, I go to from zero. No, I don't want to select everything, just the x, zero. And on frame 80, I want to go to 120, so, okay. And now I bring back the Jiggle Deformer here. And let's see how this looks now. Ah, I should, I should activate the Jiggle Deformer. Looks not different than before, but this is because of the fall off here. I go to the field remapping and here in the contour, I want to change the contour, so I go to curve. Now you see it looks a little different, but I don't want this curve, I want here, go down, down here, so something like that. Now I, you see it, uh, that on the bottom it stays and on the top, and this wouldn't, this wouldn't be possible when we have no subdivisions. And this looks much nicer now, <laughs> yes, this is exactly what I want. This is totally what I want, so I hide the field here. Good. This is nice so far. I, sh I don't know why I still see the. F no, it is the field, but it doesn't matter. We won't see it later. So. Okay. Okay. That's nice. That's great. So and this should work. Of course. When we. Activate everything here. Okay. And NA to hide them. And now I make a hardware render. So that it renders everything that I see on the SSAO here in the hardware render, what I see on the viewport. And I want to render all frames. And just render it and let's see how this looks. Shift R. It should go quite fast, you see. Yeah, the SSAO does not look really nice here, but it doesn't matter. This, this, is, this is just to test the animation. But I think we will get a really nice thing here. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Doop. Yes. <laughs> oh man, it's, it is great. So now we do. 
Yup. Wang. <laughs> okay, now if we want to make a loop, uh, we have to do something. The first thing is, this thing should go up again. And this uh, triangle should go out of the, of the of the scene, so it slips out of the scene, and this we have to go up. And you know what? It would look really crazy when we get here something, some trace or something else to make a little wet behind, and then let the wetness dry. Oh man, this is an idea, but who should we do this? How do we do this? Yeah, I think I have a way. Mm, yeah, let's do this. this. First, let's bring this again up here. So when this leaves the, 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 the so let's say it's frame 65 is the earlier, frame 70, let's say. This should go up again, okay. This is not really a problem. But how? Good. Let's deactivate the meshes here. Hide the tube here. Okay. And so now this this cylinder is as so as high as the is high until the floor. So let's go to this. Cylinder. We should see this. Let's unhide this. See here. It's until the floor. When it goes up again, it should be here. So we could do this first. Let's do this. We could do this with. Uh, Post morph. <coughs> Let's make a post morph. First, I have to copy the cylinder. Good. And this cylinder in the point mode, I select all the points. So I have the rectangle selection here, and only select visible is disabled. So I select all the points here, and I drag them up to here. Hold my shift key. This should be 50 centimeter. Yeah, exactly. That's it. We can now hide this cylinder and in the volume builder we don't even need it. We disable it in the volume builder. We need it just for our post morph. So go to the cylinder, character tag post morph. We want more of the points. And in post zero we have here advanced. Here we have a target and we want this cylinder as target. Now I go to my animation, and when I animate this now, we, sh we should see something like that. You see, it moves. It's exactly what I want. Because now, when I bring back this volume measure, Jiggly from us. Everything is done. We are on frame zero. Don't forget this. When we go on frame twenty-five, let's disable the jiggle deformer because that, 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 that goes crazy when we when we scroll it around. The twenty-five here. So now let's run it. It goes away in front. Oh, no, of course I have to animate this 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 posing. So we are on a zero. On frame 70, we stay here, you see, you see, we, yeah, on frame 70, we stay here at zero, and let's say until frame 80, no, let's say 90, frame 90, I have, see, you see, I have to deactivate the jiggling, jiggling, stand, anyway, but it doesn't matter. I go to 100 here and activate it. You see, it's up now. So that means when I go to frame 50 here, 
Nee. Zup. Now this should come up again. This is exactly what it should do. And to be extremely crazy, we give this going up here. So let's deactivate this so we don't do not really need to see this. Okay. That works perfect. Okay, the next step. Uh, I want when this go up. Let's let's jiggle this too. <laughs> so go to my cylinder. Give jiggle the former. Here we don't need the segments uh, uh, horizontal because I just want to, to jiggle it in the wire. So jiggle the former under the cylinder. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what it does. Yeah, do do you have seen it? <laughs> do do. <laughs> that's it. That's exactly it. Save it. Okay. And now to be totally crazy, we could try to make a trace here, but I want to make the the triangle moving first away. So. Go to eighty. Go here to let's see, hundred fifty. Then I just want to see how far it is. Hundred fifty. When it goes, and when we make the final animation, should go out of the. Okay, let's go to 200 here. Oopsie. Let's see. Yeah, we can change this one whenever we want. Let's say 200. Okay. Okay, that should work. Save. I make here a camera we will render later with Octane, so I make a Octane camera. Protect it. So, and now let's try this with the tracing thing. The tracing thing. Good, how can we do this? I go to my triangle. Yep, I am at my triangle. Go to frame 50 where it starts, okay. Point mode. I want to trace these points here. So, let's select them. Unfortunately, it's not possible to trace a selection. But anyway, I need the selection, so I make set selection. I have my selection tag here. If you don't have it in your tool, but the set selection, go to select and you have set selection. Okay. Uh, as I said, you can't trace this. We'll see. I'm going to my tracer. And I have more text. I need a tracer, not a more text. Tracer. So we cannot trace a selection. You see, that is not possible. And if I say trace the triangle and only the selected points, I can nowhere put in a selection or something else. So what we can do is we can clone something on this selection and we can trace this cloner then. So, 
Make uh, just a cube, a small cube, let's say, to one centimeter each side. If you select all three and you, you put in one value and hold the control key and enter, it changes all three things. Good. So, uh, yeah, cube. And we want to clone this cube. MoGraph cloner. Clone on an object. This will be the trying triangle. And now I can put in a selection tag. Selection tag. Uh, I should track it in selection. See nothing because you see have here distribution of surface. I have to go to vertex. I have now here. And we can then make the cubes even smaller. Point one. Don't have to see them. So okay. Nice. When I go now to trace and drag in the cloner trace path, it should trace. Zoop. It does it. See? It traces our clones. And when we put the tracer into our volume builder and activate the volume builder we have this let's go to the volume builder and bring the tracer under the smooth layer now we see nothing because it's too smooth now I go to my tracer go up with the radius here until I see something three nice 3.1, 2, 3. That looks not bad, but uh, we see it here. And this is not what I want. <coughs> First, what I want this is too straight, of course. Go to my tracer, and under my tracer, I bring in a displacer. Shift click on the displacer, so it's under my shading. I want noise. And it looks like this. But it goes up and down too. This is not what I want. I want the not a vertex. Normally the displays. I want it planar, and here I want it in the z-axis. So now I have adjusted in the z-axis. This looks nice. It's maybe a little too high. Oh, this 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 uh, trace is a little too high. Maybe let's bring in the trace a little down here. Oh, maybe it's nice, why not? Why not? Can give a fat thing, that's okay. But I don't want to see it here. So, what can we do here? We take an another displacer, bring it under this displacer, so like this. In this displacer, I give in just a color, white color. And again, planar, but here in the y axis, let's see, minus y. I see nothing. This is okay for one for now. I have a fall off and I want here a spherical fall off. You see already when I make this spherical fall off smaller. I don't see it here, I just see it where it starts here. Okay, this is great so far. <laughs> Save it. Good, maybe make the remapping here. So. But it's nice, it's okay. Good, this works. But now I go totally crazy and I want that this that this tries out with the time. We need more keyframes. So I go to 150 here. Save it. So 
let's see the on frame 80 the cube is out on of our scene here so something like that and now I wanna from frame 80 to let's say it's 130 or so 140 I want that this tries slowly or from here to here to here, to here, to here. For this, we simply take another displacer. We didn't use a displacer for a long time. <laughs> so, and again, the same. A displacer with a white color. No, come on, I'm blind with meanwhile. So, color. Planner minus y. Poof. Okay, we don't see anything. That's okay. Go to fall off, and here now we use a linear fall off. Roop. So that means when I make the linear fall off a little smaller here, yeah? something like that. And if we drag this around. Okay, we have to go exactly in the different direction. We are in plus x, we are going on minus x. So we can animate this linear field. And so it slowly dries out. And that, I think that is great. This is okay here. Let's make the field a little bigger, why not? So it slows, it dries out even slower. So let's say on 80, it's here. The go, go to frame 80, okay. We go to our linear coordinates, x, okay. We could freeze this now and work with zero, but in this case it's not really not necessary. Let's go to frame 140, and on frame 140, we go as far until we don't see here anything else. To here. Okay. Don't want to see the field. Don't want to see this field. Save. Okay, and now I will make an, an hardware render with this old and let's see how it works. So let's activate everything we need. So we need this activity. We could here, uh, for test render, we could make a small express or, uh, or something else to, let's go to zero, uh, to when, when we test, chuck, press on it, everything is disabled, what we don't need. And then before we render, everything is enabled. But at the moment it's not so hard. Jiggle deformer activated. Here is everything activated. Metal is here. The cylinder, if 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 it's here not to see that the, the warrior builder would see it anyways, but uh, make it make it visible. Save. And now I make a hardware render, then back in a second. So in the hardware render I have selected all frames yes I'm back in a second okay I'm back and I see I have forgotten, forgotten uh, to activate something but uh, at first line I want to see the dry you see the, here I forgot something but you see the drying works great zip that is perfect for me so and now let's see save this and now let's see, ah, I forgot to unhide the tube here. I think this was it. Let's see. I'm not entirely sure. This would be too slow now. Yeah, when you play longer with volumes, uh, cinema fatigue, fatigue gets slower and slower and slower, you see. This is nothing. 
And as I said, I'm not on my original uh, computer. So, but now it should everything be okay. Here is everything activated, activated, activated. I just try it again. For, for you, it doesn't matter because for you, it's a second. Uh, normally, this shouldn't should, shouldn't do anything because in the volume builder, it does not make any problem if you don't. Did I deactivate the builder something? Here is everything activated. Here is everything activated. It's a little strange. It doesn't matter. I try it again. So see you in a second. Okay, I don't have to render it again because I know now what what's wrong. Uh, I had on frames twenty six. I forgot to hide this. Uh, this cylinder, what we have just for our post morph, this has to be hidden, then, then it works. So, everything looks great so far. <coughs> the, the drying of the, of the slime <laughs> works great. Here, this sits exactly on the place we need it. So, uh, now we, we could start to, uh, to simply uh, texture this. So to texture this, I want this up here. So this is at frame 40, I think. Yeah, when you have it like this now, so that it's, uh, the volumes will become really slow, uh, you can simply start Cinema New, that, that helps often. So I go to the tube, I see here some ugly things, I go to the tube here and give this more, yeah, that looks, more segments, that looks great. Good, I hide this uh, metal part now for the moment because I just want to, first I make uh, um, something for the, the cloner we don't need really, so we can hide the cloner. And obtain camera is okay. So first I wanna uh, make the floor. So I save everything, go to here. Nice. Okay, the first thing I need is my Nicomedia scene rig, of course. I bring it in. And immediately we get some problems. This is just because of the floor, which is activated here. And we have our own floor, so we don't need this. We can, uh, the background is off, this is okay. So, so, so good, so far, so good. Looks nice. Let's make something for the floor. This we can hide. So a material, a simple glossy, glossy material here. I would say a glossy material is okay. And yeah, put it on the tube. Now that it, uh, this is just a reflection here. <coughs> so RGB spectrum, diffuse. I make this, uh, don't know, something kind of blue, bluish here. So. What's wrong here? Where am I? What did I make bluish? Ah, this is with the new thing here. I have to, to click on something. Okay. Good. This is not really good, but this is, do you see, this is the R thing. R2, RC3, so, so, so this is by far not a stable version. So then I make here a float for the roughness. Looks nice, not so rough. So. Okay, well, maybe we want a little dirt on it, maybe. So I bring in the dirt map from my side, from a second monitor here. So. Simple image texture with some dirt and scratches. And 
here I multiply these two. So make a multiply, put it in here. Bring this to here. Okay, this is totally the wrong mapping, so I go to my texture deck here and let's make a cubic mapping. So that looks nice. But I don't want it that black, so to, and a little bigger maybe. So go to my image texture, transform, and transform it a little bit bigger. This sort of thing. So yeah, that looks nice. Then I want to clamp this color here. So we have here somewhere clamp texture. Sick. Go down here with the minimum, uh, up here with the minimum. So. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Save. Maybe we can do this in the bump too. Let's see how this looks. Ah, then we should go back. No, no, we don't need it behind the bump. Just dirt. Maybe in the specular as well. Okay. So, save. Now we have here a nice flower. Maybe it's still too dirty, so clamp it a little more. Clump, 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 clump. So Yeah, that looks nice. Save it. Now we need the subsurface scattering. For this, I use a specular material and give it on my volumes, on volume here, measure, and on this measure. That should work. Yep. Now, in this guy here, let's go to the node editor again. I love the node editor. First, I take a little roughness. Uh, and even just the roughness makes it almost subsurface scattered. See? But I need just a little roughness. Not one. Point one. But you see, this is looks already like that. So, okay. Then I need a scattered ring medium in the medium slot. Okay. I do the color over the absorption. The, the transmission should be white for me, so I hand it. It's not totally I want it totally white. But I make for the transmission I make an RGB spectrum node too, so easier to find it than when, when I want to change it. So, okay. Then in the absorption, I want another RGB spectrum and this is the color I want. So, I want here a nice reddish color, like a sherry red thing. Then in the scattering, More, almost one. Looks nice so far. So now I go down here. See, it starts to be nice. The face up with the face here. Okay. But uh, to get a nice subsurface scattering, what you need is uh, let's scatter this, this one. What you need is uh, good light. So so. Let's take here another HDR, HDR, I. Even if I make go to this HDR I here, and make the intensity brighter, you see it much better. You see. 
that even looks much better so. but save it and go to shift f8 bring something from here inside Poof. some outdoor or indoor or whatever door 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 Dorable, adorable. So, take the first one and rotate it like you never rotated anything before. Uh, uh, it does not take anything, yet, but see here, nice dark, and here, nice. But this is anyway not the, the, the thing I want. Let's go to the indoors and let's go to one of my favorites. This is one of these nature labs here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's this no, this is not but this is this needs some time to find the correct HDRI find a nice spot and everything this we know this needs its time. Yeah, that, that looks nice. So, what I want, I want to use the denoiser here. So I go to the camera text and make again protections. Uh, camera imager enable and enable the, yeah, the denoiser. Now you get here a small thing. This is the denoiser. You see, this is the, uh, now with uh, 500 samples. With the denoiser on it, you see, nothing is over. So, and even with 100 samples, this should be possible. So, 100 samples. Render it. Oops. And go to the denoiser. And you see? Even with 100 samples, we get a great, a, a great thing here. Yeah. So it renders really, really fast. Let's make 200 samples. Don't be so. No, not 20 samples. 20 samples. Then, okay. So and for the animation here, uh, it's important uh, when you work with subsurface scattering and something else, and with the denoiser. In an animation, I would uh, I would recommend to, to go in static noise. So first, try to render it, and if you see you have a flickering or something else, try the static noise. Good. So this looks fine so far. What I do now is I know when I when I jump now between the frames, it will look a little weird because of uh, let's disable first the uh, jiggle deformer here. And here, but I want to see how this this part looks with when we go further. You see, nice dark, and here we have wonderful subsurface scattering. And this is perfect. And when we have now our tracer on, go to hundred. I had a tracer. Shoot trace. No, that is, that has nothing to do with the corner. I have to go to this. I have to to run through. Then it then it will work. This is great. This is really nice. When we go to the first frame, this is a zero. Ah, we need something for the metal part here. So let's make a metal material. 
so some the kind of metal so I make a glossy material make a simple dark RGB diffuse whatever put it on our uh, come on metal thing here okay make it a little rough, 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 rough. And go a little up with the index. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Maybe give it a little of noise in the bump here. So. But no, no, I don't want noise here. So, okay. It's maybe a little too dark, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. When we go down now to, let's say, 25. Yeah, now we see this perfect. Yeah, that's great. This SSS is great. Yeah, imagine how this looks when when it comes slowly in with in the, in the animation. Uh, but maybe a little. So we're on fourteen. Uh, 10 is too less, I think. Uh, 10. Okay, 10 is great. Let's be 10. And give it here 0. 0.2. Yeah. Save it. And. Yeah, no. It should look okay. I make a test render. Save it. Go to the render, Octane render. Here, what's important, use the noise beauty bus. Output 720 is okay, all frames. Save, and I don't save the frames now, I just render it. And I am back when it's rendered, and we will see the first thing here. See you in a second. Okay, I'm still rendering, but I don't really like the optic uh, the, 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 of the... Uh, things behind the, uh, you see, it looks, this looks great, look at this subsurface scattering in this, uh, but I don't like the optic of that, this is a little too thick and too high, and so it looks, man, but it looks, yeah, it looks good, but I, I want to change this a little bit, but look at this great image, <laughs> that's simply fine. Maybe we could uh, rotate this a little bit, this triangle when it slip, slips out. So, so do, do, do. Yeah, let's let's play a little more with this. Okay, I stop it. And uh, yeah, when I see that I can do this a little nicer here. So uh, let's go to a frame about hundred here. It would be nice when I see some tracing, but I don't see the tracing here. It's a little pity. This is a. But doesn't matter. When I disable here. Or I enable here everything. But I disable the measure everywhere. Here it is every the measure and here the volume builder I disable everything except of the tracer. So this should give us a quite quick thing here. Yeah. So when I render this I just have eyes for this here. You see, it looks not really, it looks a little thick or so, or, or to less, maybe more. Let's go a little down with the tracer. So, uh, that looks better, but we need more of it. 
so let's go to this displacer here this is the displacer with the noise in here this is the zigzag thing and let's see when we go to planar and we go up here that's too much to, no, let's see 20 okay and make it the shading it looks not bad and scale 200 or smaller 20 that looks not bad at all let's play with low and high clip nope nope oh with the contrast the brightness no oh, that this is goes to the left and right this is not what I want everything is fine like this but I want more of it Oh, maybe. It's black and gray. No, 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 this is everything okay. We need just to the. Yeah, ha. Yeah, but then it's then it's too 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 too. No, the two D is is no way no go. That is okay. Oh, maybe the trace and the volume builder. Is its radius go here to three point five? But then we have again this thickness, uh, but it looks a little better. Not a lot, but a little. We will get it. We will find a nice thing. I think we find it in the displacer. No, 10 is okay. Better, 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 better. But I, I think the trace so one point uh, three point five was okay here. Mm, we could. What could we do here? We would, we could make more points, but uh, this I don't don't really do not really want to do this. Uh, Uh, we can make the second trace uh, exactly the same. The Maria Builder and simply offset it a little bit. Oops, back, 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 back second tracer and offset it a little bit back why uh-huh 
offset the clone a little bit. So, make another cloner. Exactly the same cloner one. In tracer one, I put in cloner one. And try this to offset this cloner one a little bit somewhere. In the x axis, uh, in the z axis. No? Don't want it. In any direction? No? No? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> then. Then not. Clone. Uh, oh, we can make this cube here editable and and uh, offset the axis here of this cube even this does not help huh. okay but we will find a way but, but normally it's it's should be fine like it is. oh wait 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 so axis of the cube second as I said it would be it would be nice as, as this would looks nice too but uh, let's let's try it a little more so I'm in but axis mode is okay normally this should work when I axis of the cube but not okay. This is okay. This is okay. The second tracer. This is it's the the funny thing is you can you can uh, move it up and down, but uh, not to the side. It seems. And I want to move this tracer to the side because you see when I move the train hide this tracer for the moment. When I move the tracer up and down. That's that's no problem. But when I want to move it left and right. Uh, when I want to move it. This works. So when I mix it, you know what? What when I Delete this tracer here and the second cloner and make an instance of this tracer. Instance. Bring it inside here. Go to the volume builder. See. Hey man, we have a tracer instance here. So can we trace? Yeah. Yes, this looks nice now. I'm not entirely sure why we have this here. Did it start to try? No. Where does it start to try? Dry and dry and dry. Uh, here in the linear field, it starts to dry at show track 80. So we should see this. That means we go to the spherical fall off here, make it a little. Yay! <laughs> so let's see. But at fifty, we have this. Seventy, we have this. Don't want that it overlaps here. So 
You have to be a little careful. Something like that. Fifty one. Okay, I oops. This is not what I want. Now I try to render it like this. It looks great. Okay. I hope it's but the tracer should go as well with the linear fall off that it should should work everything, save it and I make a new render. See you in a second. Okay, it looks not bad what we did here. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay, of course you can do some fine tuning. But I think we have this this drying, it looks great. But you see that the uh, I did a little mistake, this is still in in the scene so but I think we can say we finished it. Yeah. I later that bit, but please post me your results because uh, I'm sure I will I will play uh, when I find time I will play again with this because I want to make this a little nicer here. But it, now it it's, it looks already it looks great so, so now we can do. But you see, and here we have this here and it goes back so that it looks really great. Maybe the subsurface scattering is, is a little too much even when, when the triangle is alone. But these are small things so this is no problem to do this. Okay, this is it. And now I can go... Uh, my vacation <laughs> so if you liked it of course please the thumbs up if you did not like it thumbs down and this is especially for this guy who every time gives me the thumbs down thank you for this so but i know you click on it you you, you visit me so what else and uh yeah, the next tutorial, as I said, will come after my vacation and maybe I do some small ones uh, in my vacation on my laptop. Uh, I'm back uh, about, about uh, 8 till 10th of September. And uh, yeah, that's it so far. If yeah, the Patreon can download later this uh, project file, of course. And what is the same or yeah if you want to donate you can do so the link is in the description if you want to support me on patreon link in the description uh if you have questions complaints requests whatever please write me in the comments on my website on my facebook site on my facebook group wherever you want and please guys show me your results i really appreciate that and yeah that's it so far i wish you all a wonderful sunday night evening whatever day and uh, yeah maybe i you will hear something from me from croatia and until next middle of the next uh, week yeah the one thing uh, the updates from the scene rigs octane rig and uh, uh, physical rig will come uh, I think so so middle of September too because I, I did not want to they are more than less ready but uh, I did not want to give them out to release them before I can test it in, in R21 so uh, uh, because it is senseless when when I bring it out and then they don't work in R21 so that's, that's not really what I want okay so yeah that's it I would say thank you for watching thanks for everything thanks for following me thanks for supporting me thanks for yeah thanks <laughs> thanks for everything okay see you soon as possible and have a wonderful time and maybe you're on vacation too and go to vacation i wish you a wonderful time and now i say Best Richards, best hier from Vienna and tschüss und papa.